Okay, here we have Marcelo. Uh, Marcelo is one of our international guests. Uh, he, just the same as me, will be talking about uh, the agile, impractical stuff. Actually, actually, his talk was about impractical stuff. What can you say more about your impracticalities, Marcelo? Um, I just think it's a, it's a nice metaphor for uh, you know teaching people about you know, the differences between efficiency and effectiveness and how we're so obsessed with efficient stuff and that's what talk to managers and customers we have to be efficient and sometimes we forget that what we really want is to get to something out something get to the point uh, so you think that um you can achieve this uh, effectiveness in communication with business and in communication inside teams uh, almost everywhere, don't you? Yeah, I do believe there is a big human factor in get into, especially in the software, I don't know, maybe other fields as well, I'm particularly biased to software development here. I think that in software development, um, the metrics of efficiency are really uh, sometimes deceiving. For example, people can't. It's not very intuitive for managers that you know you put two, two people in the same task, and and that's better for uh, better results. Because typically, if you have two two people, two resources working on the same task, that's counterintuitively that is not an efficient thing. But it's being you know you have documentation, you have uh, some work that shows that pair programming actually uh, can, can can bring you more effective results. So you get quicker to a, a quality result rather than you know having to rework stuff and rethink about things after you have deployed. So you are suggesting that we are not uh, working in uh, maybe tomato factories or uh, fur furniture factories and it's just another kind of uh, job, yeah? Yeah, I think, I think that many, uh, the, th the management thinking today around software has borrowed their ideas from you know typical manufact traditional manufacturing paradigms that doesn't really fit into software development. Uh, software development is much more. I think Craig Lagerman, Craig Lagerman wrote a book 2004 about interactive software de interactive development and how software development really fits more into the model of new product development and new product development uh, has its own characteristics and uh, and. And contrary to traditional manufacturing, you can't really think everything beforehand. There's a lot of cr creativity going on. There's a lot of craft going on. It's not predictable work. And so the, the activities that is going to take place there, they're not very intuitive from the point of view of you know, people who are coming from the uh, manufacturing paradigms. So it's interesting to uh, play those uh, you know, activities with people. And... Uh I can ask you one thing that interests me uh, the most now. Uh, what do you think? What motivates people in crea creative uh, on creative positions? Um, I think it's the freedom. <laughs> so if you if you give them goals, uh, but give them the give them the goals, the the why, the reasons why you want to achieve stuff, and give them the, the how. And as long as there is a communication open to what do you mean. So that's the why in the first place, that's the middle term, the interactive bit, which is what do you mean, and then leave the how entirely to the, to the team, to the work owners. Then you, you, know, you can create a space for creativity to spring, and then it is, people really want to leave that legacy. It's part of life, a part, you know, it's, and it's a part of your craft, taking, proud and what, taking pride in what you're doing, and then brings up better, better uh, products better f for everyone. Uh, and maybe to get uh, to a probably harder question, it's hard for me, so uh, if you can name one thing that is a key factor to a success to an agile team. Um, key factor of success for me, I think that if I had to point down what for me is the most fundamental characteristic of agile, of the, you know, if you look at the agile manifesto, it is there, is collaboration. And uh, the trick to, ha um, to have collaboration in, because collaboration is counterintuitive, you know, you don't want people to, to be spending time uh, on workshops, doing example workshops or pair programming. So it's not, it's, it's to bring their focus back into effectiveness, um, it's, it's all shifting software development back into 
um, collaborations, so bringing the fo focus and bringing the conversation around. This is something that we're building together for people, and that's the key to you know to move. Like that. Th thanks a lot. It was very inspiring. Thanks, Marcel.